Hi, I am Nikki Clements, and these are Newton's Cradles. And a while ago, the King of Random made one of these using billiard balls. No, I thought that was pretty cool, but of course, using a billiard ball means that your Newton's Cradle is going to be pretty massive. So I thought it'd be cool to make one using mini billiard balls, like the ones from this mini pool table set. A considerable amount smaller than a regular size billiard ball and very much more suited to a desktop Newton's Cradle. But of course, I don't want to use these because then I won't have a mini pool table that I never use. But of course, Amazon size discrepancy strikes again, and while the ones I ordered are indeed mini, they're still considerably bigger than the micro ones that I was hoping to get. But it turns out that was a good thing, because when I went back to look for these again, I discovered these. Keychain billiard balls. The same size as the mini ones, but they already have hardware attached to them, which is basically almost the entire thing done. I don't have to worry about drilling or gluing anything onto these. I can literally just take off the keychain and put it onto a frame. I could even just remove these and slap them in there, which would actually look pretty cool, but uh, I have to do something on my own, so I might as well make my own frame. Now I have actually tried making a wire frame like this before, and it is a bit more challenging than it would look. Bending wire is deceivingly difficult, so I think I'll probably make it out of wood, but to still make it easy on myself, I think I'll try and just laser cut it. So I started off by measuring one of the keychain billiard balls with my calipers, and it's around 25.25 millimeters. With that measurement, I went to Photoshop and drew a circle 25.25 millimeters in diameter. And then I made five of them. Now this will determine the size of my stand. So just start with a bar for the top of the stand, and I add in five notches. This is where the strings will go and this will make sure that they are perfectly evenly spaced. And then I draw the two uprights and I just got a little bit fancy with it just cause why not? I'm cutting it out with a laser. So I put in some relief cuts and then just two little tabs at the bottom. These will stick down into the base. And for the base, I just start with a rounded rectangle. And then I put those four holes in the corners where the stands will slide down into them. And then because I'm cutting it with really thin wood, I'm just going to make four little feet with those same square pegs into it. And then those will get glued onto the bottom of the base, allowing the pegs of the stand to stick into them, but also just giving it four feet. And then just to do something else, I just put in some lines uh, to cut out and just be kind of a design element. So with all my pieces created, I went ahead and drew a rectangle the size of the wood that I'm cutting it out on and started to nest the piece. And I did a awesome job of finding the perfect way to align them to get all the pieces I needed to fit on one sheet. So I am pretty proud of that, especially since Deep Nest was having no luck getting anywhere near what I came up with. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm awesome. Anyway, with all those pieces nested, it's laser time.
Oh, that went together way too fast. Crap. I didn't have any time. <sighs> well, that sucks. It don't work. So now the most important question, which colors? Uh, I think probably solid. Okay, I definitely like those colors. Red, yellow, green, blue, and black, of course. Oof. Super easy to take off the keychain portion. Three, four, five. I'm gonna tie it on one end and then glue it on the other. Snip all of these. All right, cool. Hold steady. Perfect. That works really nicely. Honestly, that looks even better. I might as well have just glued it in on that side, but whatever. I might want to put a dab of glue on the actual keychain hook just to keep them from sliding left to right but we'll see how well it it works now, i don't have a uh, overhead camera running today i actually lent the camera i usually use for that to my cousin because he had to turn in equipment that he was using through school back into school um, but he still wanted to, to finish the project he was working on while he had nothing else to do, stuck at home like everybody else, so I don't have that. And then I lent uh, another camera of mine to my brother. He's a teacher. Um, he wanted to use it to film himself reading books so his students can uh, you know, listen to him read. So, uh, yeah. No, can't test it yet. Gotta wait till it's done. No spoilers. Said no spoilers. Snip. 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 Well, it looks pretty cool. Let's clear everything off. All right. That's excellent. That is awesome. Yeah, it, it doesn't go nearly as long, most likely due to the length of travel on the pendulum, but um, I was wondering if the amount of swing I was seeing was abnormal, but no, this one, this one gets just as much swing introduced. I am really happy with that. I really like the design. I was kind of uninspired for the base. I mean, obviously it didn't even need those lines. If anything, it makes it weaker. But I think they're they're cool. I mean, I could have done anything, you know, it's anything you want because it's it's a laser. But 
I think that's neat enough. I do like the relief cuts in the stand. Well, this thing is great. It looks great. It works great. I love the color scheme. I really like the way the wood contrasts. I think the wood frame design is great as well. It's exactly what I wanted. I think it's a great size for a desktop. Much better than using the full-size billiard balls, which of course is very cool, but King of Random already has one. Now I have the mini one. So this was a pretty easy and straightforward project to do. And of course, finding these keychain pool balls just made it that much easier. You don't have to mess around with gluing anything on here or trying to drill into these. And you can make it even easier just by using an existing Newton's cradle and placing the balls with some of these keychains. But it's not that much harder to make your own frame out of wood or try wire bending. Or if you have a laser, just laser up a frame real quick or in my case, four or five hours, but using pool balls in a Newton's Cradle is kind of perfect. Not only do they look awesome, but just the way that pool balls are designed, they're designed to transfer motion, so they're the perfect substitute here. But my sincere thank you for watching. Once again, I am Nick D. Clements. If you're wondering, make it short for Nicholas, and the D stands for dart, which I think is a pool term. Anyway, I'm off to make something else. Cool term. Anyway, I'm off to make. Almost close. Done. Phil Clough.